Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. Today I'm going to talk to you about some different baseline inbounds plays that you can run at pretty well any age group of basketball team. These are all plays against man-to-man -man defenses and they're all what I call four out inbounds. Now there's a few different names for this type of inbounds. However, I digress. It's basically just four players outside of the three-point line with a player inbounding along the baseline. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these baseline basketball inbounds plays. Okay, so first in this first play, what we're going to be having is player four. He's going to go and set a screen for player two. This will be a back screen. And then player five is going to be setting a screen for player one. When they set those screens, what I want to see happen is player two, he's going to be cutting towards the rim. And we're going to have player one cutting out towards this corner. Now, our number one option, of course, in my opinion, should always be the layup because it's the most easiest basket that we can take. Unless it's the end of the game, then we may be looking for player one along the three-point line. Or player two, instead of driving to or cutting towards the rim, he could pop out towards this far corner where player three could pass him the ball, watching out for that backboard that he doesn't hit it. And then getting the ball over to player two for the shot. Now, of course, in this scenario, player one would be our best option because this would be an easier pass and player two would be our backup. Now in our second play, it's going to be very similar to our first. However, we're going to be having our big players out along the corners. Now what we're going to be having here is player two setting a screen down for player five and player four is going to be setting a screen up for player one. Like I was mentioning, very similar to the last play. Now, they're going to be setting those screens, and we're going to be having player five. He's going to be cutting baseline towards the rim, and player one is going to be cutting back out towards that corner. So basically, this side of the basketball court is the exact same play, while this side of the court is the opposite of what we did in play one. However, both of these plays are fantastic to use. And because they are so very similar, you can that's why you can use these plays at any age. You can teach both plays and remember and know that because they're so similar, your team's not going to be messing them up. Now, in our third play, again, very similar, but there are a few differences. In this play, what we're going to be having is player four cutting across and setting a screen for player five, and player one is going to be setting a screen for player two. They're going to be setting those screens, and now what we're going to have is player two. He's going to be running the perimeter out towards this free throw line extended, and player five is going to be cutting in towards the baseline, towards the net. Now, of course, what I would always like to see is the easiest option, a layup. Now, if that's not open, we should have player two open for that three-point shot or to set up our offense. Now, if neither of these players are open, what I want to see happen is player one setting a screen down. This all has to be super quick. Player two continuing down towards that corner and player four using player one as a screen and popping out towards this side so that player three can get him the ball. Player four being our backup, uh, our backup option if both player two and five are unable to get that ball inbounded to them. Now in our final play that I'm going to show you today, this is a really great play that I know you're going to absolutely love. I call this four out cross. What we're going to have is player two setting a screen down for player five, player four cutting up and setting a screen for player one. So they're going to be setting those screens. And now what I want to see happen is player five cutting across. He's going to cut across the key and player one is going to be cutting across the perimeter. And now what we're going to be looking to have is player five in the low post possibly getting switched off with player two which would be a mismatch and an easy basket or player one being wide open somewhere around the mid-range or three-point line area again being hopefully wide open and if that's the case then we could either have a layup with player five 
or player one who could get either the offense set up or a quick mid-range or three-point shot. Now these are all fantastic options I know you're going to absolutely love and I know that's going to help your team score more points off of a baseline inbounds. Again, these are all against man-to-man -man defenses so I'll uh, remember, if you're going up against the man-to-man -man defense, these are an option and they're very simple to run. Anyways, I hope to see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day. Also, go check out my custom basketball practice plans in the links in the description below. I'll see you guys there and I'll see you guys later on today.